Hey guys, it's your girl Lady Mamacita and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be talking about my baby shower and talking about everything that happened, what led up to my baby shower, and all the craziness that happened before the shower and yeah. So first things first, make sure you guys grab your beverages, grab a snack, and let's get right into it. I'm gonna get a sip of my water before I get started. Yeah, so thirsty. Um, but first things first, so I when I got pregnant back in December, I had said that I wanted to have my shower like obviously like you know closest to my due date because um with this whole virus and stuff like that i wanted to prolong it because i really wanted a real shower and i didn't want to have like a drive-by i didn't want to have like a virtual shower like i wanted to have the like full-blown shower so i you know kept going back and forth with my emotions like do i want to have a real shower do i want to have a you know like going back and forth because uh, the reason why i think i went back and forth so much is because i had different people's opinions like oh we should do this or we should do that and i wasn't just taking my own advice i was like taking other people's advice and so um moral of everything i ended up having guys i'm back i had a phone call so um i ended up having a regular shower and before the shower it was just a lot of mixed emotions because um my baby's father wasn't pulling his weight as much as he needed to and it was just it was a lot it was a lot personally on me because with having my child i feel like i've been the only one that has been um an adult in my situation and i've been like having to do everything on my own and try to figure things out because the other the other side of my baby's father is just i feel like he's not he's not ready there's nothing i can do about that but continue to move forward and you know have my child but it was a lot of mixed emotions because he wanted to have this shower like really bad he was like i want to have it i want to have it and don't mind my nails my nails are messed up i'm so upset because i spent a lot of money on my nails and only for like them to freaking be looking like this like what the hell but anyways so um it was just it was a lot for me to cope with the fact that he was not pulling his weight and he was very persistent about wanting to have a shower as well like i want to have this i want to have a, like i'm super happy i'm super excited like i want to have this shower but he wasn't putting in putting in the he wasn't putting in the efforts to have this shower like he was just procrastinating like wasn't really pulling his weight so it was a lot on me emotionally because i'm like we i didn't have this child i didn't like plan to have this child myself like this is something that we both you know wanted and both you know did so you know you need to come together and help me plan this Sorry, I didn't need to keep my mouth shut. It's so ghetto. But, again, he wasn't pulling his weight. And then he had involved his family members into it. And his family was supposed to help. And it just was a bunch of drama because in the end, I felt as though it was his job to help with the shower. It wasn't his family members. It wasn't his family members' responsibility to help with the shower. It was he and I created this baby and so he and i need to do what it takes to have this shower because this is for our child not for their child so it was just drama and then like he and i were constantly getting into it and given the fact that we had involved our family members into it now it's like drama between the family members and it just was a bunch of like chaos so um that ended up leading to the shower and the shower was august 8th so it was like about a week ago almost a week ago and now like looking back I I regret having a shower because just more more reasons than not um again he didn't pull his weight like he should have and I 
was talking to my friends and I talked to my family and they're like, Maddie, regardless to what, like, you're doing this for your daughter. This is not about him, you know, still do what it takes to have the shower. Like, don't worry about him. Don't worry about his family. Like, don't worry about none of that. Like, you just still have it because this is what you want. But something I left out was I, this whole entire time we've been planning to have it at his house. So having the shower at his house and, you know, having to be around him. And I really don't want to be around him because I'm unhappy and I'm hurt by the things that he's done it was just it was a lot and I didn't want to have it there but at the same time given the fact that I had continuously planned it and planned it on having it at his house I didn't think of like well let me look for an Airbnb or let me look for somewhere else because I can't have it at my house and so it was just it was a lot of different emotions and so I ended up having it at his house and you know again the day of the shower he really didn't pull his weight he really didn't do what was needed you know he didn't really want to help out and it was just it's been a lot you know and I feel like a lot of people have you know on his side of the family they've judged me and they've you know made their comments because during this process I've gone back and forth on my shower at least 20 times like one day I'm gonna have it next day I'm not gonna have it one day I'm having it next day I'm not gonna have it I'm canceling it I'm telling them I'm done I'm like going back and forth and it was like people were faulting me for going back and forth because of the fact that you know they didn't want to put money involved into the shower because they felt as though they were going to get their sorry guys i keep getting phone calls um but it was just it was just a lot of just craziness and all in all is i just wanted him to pull his weight i wanted him to you know do what it takes to freaking be a father like you signed up for this project so you need to complete this project and it's not just a one day thing this is for the rest of this this child's life you know what i mean so it was just a lot and it sucks that i've had to already go through all of this stuff at the beginning of my pregnancy and i never thought that i would be in this predicament going through this stuff because anyone who knows me knows that when i feel a certain type of way or when i uh i say i don't do something i don't do it and if you personally know me you know like we'll talk about this in a different video but regarding like smoking and drinking that's something that i do not play with and we'll talk about that on another time but yeah so it was just it was a lot and then the shower came and so many people that i had invited didn't show up i was looking to have a good like 150 people show up because so many people rsvp told me that they were gonna come and they didn't freaking come they didn't show up so that was a lot on me it was a lot on my mom because I had put in so much money into the shower again on my own I had put in so much money and my mom helped me out too and it was just it was just it, the whole situation was just hurtful because I didn't want nobody to have to help besides meet him I just I needed his support and obviously I didn't have that so with that being said I put on my big girl panties and I figured it out on my own like I was like regardless of what I'm gonna make this happen and I made it happen and then only only for me to make it happen and then not that many people show up you know what I mean and like I literally I think I probably had like a good 60 people that came um because I had like kind of some people that didn't stay but they did like the drive through or whatever so I had people that came it was just it was just overwhelming because I had so many people within this past week that have hit me up like since like Monday or like since like Sunday and they're like oh Maddie I'm so sorry I couldn't make it and for those of you that have reached out to me and said that you're sorry that you can't make it I have not responded back to you just off the simple strength of uh, it's just it's been a lot and a lot of people obviously don't know what I was going through prior to the shower and what I'm going through right now but again for the most part in life communication is like the freaking like if you can't communicate with me then there's no point of us talking there's no point, point, point of us having a friendship there's no point of us even moving in any forward in a, a friendship or relationship uh whatever the case may be because communication is everything and then people tend to not communicate and then when you blow up oh you're the bad guy you're wrong you're this you're that and I'm like screw that I'm not the bad guy like you messed up so then when I'm correcting you now it's a problem and again there's somebody that you know Maddie I'm sorry I couldn't make it and I don't give nobody excuses I don't because at the end of the day those people that are hitting me up now saying like oh um I'm sorry I didn't make it you knew beforehand that you weren't gonna come 
you know and i've had people that literally have messaged me the day before hour i messaged them days in advance and said hey you're gonna be able to make it and they were like oh yeah i'm gonna be there for sure i got you like i'm gonna be there and then they don't show up you know what i mean so that's money that you know that was coming out of my pocket that i you know paid for all this crap and then these people aren't showing up to something that okay guys so i just wanted to end my video with just saying that in life when you have someone that is like important to you or something just listen to them when they say like don't do something if someone gives you like their honest opinion or they're like someone dear to your heart and they say you know what maddie don't do it just you know focus on yourself like actually do that because i learned the hard way and looking back i wish that i wouldn't have had a shower i wish that i would just have put you know bought my daughter more stuff even though she already has way too much stuff she's taking over my entire room I just next time i'm gonna make better decisions and you know moving forward i know that god has a plan and god is covering me and my baby girl with his blood and i know that we're gonna be just fine so i have faith and i'm not worried but i just wish that things would have been a lot different and yeah so moving forward i will make better decisions but thank you for watching if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you will be um alert you'll you'll get an alert as to when i post another video all right thank you so much for watching